Stick to your goals. Um, I'm not sure that I talked about this before, actually. Um, but basically, you find life throws things at you. There's a lot of curveballs and things that happen unexpected. Some are minor, some are major. But you should always try and stick to your goals as much as possible. I know uh, myself, when it comes to savings and stuff, I put savings off, which is why I'm now heavily doing it. Um, I should have done it over a decade ago. Um, but the fact is, I'm now making sure that I do do it. Um, I also have an emergency fund, which I, I've had it on and off, but should have retained it and built it up over time. Um, but now, we're in a situation where we're starting to move things forward uh, rather rapidly. Also, it doesn't mean give up on everything. You know, if you lose your job, the motivation for your goals should be more important, not less. Because you need that motivation to get you back into work. I've had it before where um, my motivation was to get work done for three or four months because I knew I was going back to the Philippines for at least another six months with the money I saved. I remember jet washing Eurofighter parts down with this uh, purple um, purple spray which has got like these tiny like salt balls type things with a jet wash arm um, and the, I had pink liquid in my eyes I was soaking wet for 16 hours a day um, but the motivation was there to get in get out and get on um, because I'd arrived back in the UK, but I'd got rid of my car previously, which meant I was stuck in a one-horse town. Um, was a bit of a dive? Um, it's a nice area, but I mean, there's no work there. Um, it pays less than other places. Most of my work is centralized around London, so um, without a vehicle, I'm stuck. So basically, I just took that job on, got enough to get a car, and that got me back into the circuit where. Um, not only did I make money, I bought a car and I made sure I had a car available every time I went to the UK after that. But the whole point was the motivation for that was I like moaning that I was bringing these jet, uh, all the, uh, what do you call it? It's like cleaning off the Eurofighter parts for spray painting. You know, you, it's come off the, uh, the molds and what have you and it's just cleaning all the crap off it. Did I moan about doing that for hours, getting a cold, getting chest chest pain from the cold? The answer is no, because I knew it was short term. I knew this kept me on my goals um, and it kept me in the right direction. And that's what your motivation should be. It doesn't matter if you lost your job, so what? It's done, dusted, move on. How do you get back on, back on track? Don't let things drag you down. Um, the goal is what's important. How you get there is irrelevant. Um, it's like me. I've got several e-books I've got to finish. And my motivation for them is a bit out of sync at the moment because I've got too much stuff to do. But my ultimate goal is to get them done because they will drip feed money every month. I don't care if it's $1, $50, $1,000 a month. Um, the fact is, every dollar counts. And that's why these goals are important. Because at the moment, the property, getting the property in Spain is one of the biggest goals. And okay, we've got the first 10,000 euros, but the one I want is 89,000. And we're six months in of this year. Uh, well, so six months in since we moved to Spain. So. I've got to find the rest of that cash. Um, 79,000 euros is still a huge chunk of change, <laughs> but that's my goal. So I'll work on whatever I can do to make it happen. Uh, like I said, finish those ebooks, but at the same time, traveling to and from Spain and to the UK, plus college courses, Plus, um, a strange working schedule at the moment. I'm doing some work for Shell Oil at the moment. Um, but I don't know where I am week to week. It's messing everything up for me because I can't synchronize things properly. Um, but am I grumbling about it? No. I just look at this is what I've got. 
Um, I can't synchronize things, so I just accept I cannot synchronize them. What I sit there and do, like now, when I couldn't get the the right setup for going home uh, every weekend to Spain, I turn around and start say, right, I'll start taking annual leave, and I'll st continue until I've got no annual leave left. Does it bother me? Um, it bothers me in the fact that the company is a bit inflexible. That's the only bit that bothers me. Because when you do go and start with another company, they'll then go, oh, why, why did he leave? I don't understand. Um, he's been saying for months about this problem with not knowing where he's working or what's going on on a regular basis that we just ignore. Um, but it's not our problem. Because companies are very strange like that. Bad companies are, sorry. Um, not all companies. Because if somebody comes to me and says, I've got a problem, I remember... Um, I remember the typhoon, um, typhoon Haiyan. In the Philippines, a lot of the stores let their staff go home because they knew they had relatives on other islands. They don't turn around and say, well, you know what? If you go, if you go home, you're fired, which I think some of the companies I deal with and have worked for wouldn't think twice on doing because they're yes men. Um, that's just part of the culture, unfortunately. At the same time, that's why I like being self-employed and looking forward to going back to it. Um, like I says though, I'm not grumbling. Um, I may sound a bit cynical on it. It's just because I can see a problem. Yet, yeah, it's only when you go, they go, oh, hang on, how are we going to replace him? Rather than six months earlier, they should have thought about it and just realized you're actually trying to help them because it made no difference when or where you were working because most of it's computer-based. <laughs> um, but yeah, just keep on your goals. Don't let things drag you away from it. You will have, like me, I'm struggling with getting my education done this year, as well as um, work, as well as the family commute and all this. And as you can see, I look a bit jet-lagged because I do too many hours and I can't sustain this full-time, but once my education is done, a little tick in the box, get my new diploma, then that sets me up for my next job or reinforces the fact I know what the hell I'm doing and helps me get my own contracts later. In the same way, get our property in Spain, bought and purchased, paid for, no mortgage, no debt. That puts us ahead of the game of most people in Europe that are riddled with debt with a mortgage. So it's all in process and it's all my goals. My goals is the property is the main one, getting my diploma because the diploma means I'm secure for next year and going forward because that actually puts me um, pretty high up within a company. It, it, it's work I do already. It's just a case of this is a diploma that says he knows what he's doing. It's just irritating because it's like going back to class for the job you've been doing for a decade to get a little certificate to say people actually understand you know what you know what you're talking about <laughs> but goals 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 just stick to them write them down list them set them ahead where you want to be take pictures of them stick them in your computer desktop set a little spreadsheet up say where you want to be what you want to do what you're going to achieve create the goals that work for you plan it with what works for you I have a spreadsheet for the Philippines because I can monitor money coming and going, but I even count down every single window as it goes in. May sound a little bit, um, bit of a simple process, but the fact is every one of those is a tick in the box. It means I'm going in the right direction. Um, if you don't do it, you, know, you sit there and go, okay, I've got $2,000 worth of windows to put in. Um, and you're going to find the budget on top of buying a property and everything else, you start thinking this ain't going to happen. But when you go, right, put a window in next week, this cost $150, it's a tick in the box. And that's all it does. You know, something as simple as that, because it reinforces the fact you're making it happen. And that's why even the small stuff is important, because everyone's a goal. Everything is a little gold star for yourself to say, I've done that, I've achieved that, now on to the next one. All right, thanks for watching.